Yeah, I, I have to say uh, that I have to respond to new facts. I've been pretty bullish on your show for a long time. I felt the economy was stronger than people thought, and I thought we were going to get a trade deal. I still feel very good about the economy. I still feel very good about corporate earnings. Uh, but the trade facts are just worse than they were. Uh, there were people that I respect in the administration, like Larry Kledlow and, and Mnuchin, who were saying we were going to get a trade deal, and I thought we were, and now I'm not so sure. And the market isn't either. And that's a big deal. So we've got, on the one hand, better economy than the market thinks. Earnings are going to be better than people think. But a trade deal is not a tiny thing. Ian, uh, do you agree with that? Do you think that the, the risks on trade are not priced in? Oh, I don't think they're pri that nearly priced in at all. I know you were talking about important levels, but how about the Dow transports at 10,000? I mean, they're your lead indicator on the economy, and they've been negatively diverging for a while. So I also agree that the trade war uh, is, is much worse than people think, but I don't see what, what's so exciting about the economy. And I think the market's starting to tell you, given the Dow transport action, uh, that the economy is actually going to slow. Uh, and so, uh, to me, the risks are, are asymmetric, um, and I'm at about a third equities. And I think you really, if you're bullish at this point, you've got the Fed, which is significant, but I'm not sure what else you have at this point. In uh, asymmetric, to what extent, what sort of uh, percentage downside do you expect in the S&P 500 in the near future? I think it could be down 10 percent into uh, the third week of June. I think as this thing starts to kind of roll into that G20, my guess is the rhetoric's going to pick up. Uh, and at that point, you're going to start to seep into, you know, kind of earnings and pre-announcements as we look into Q3. And look at the IHS data last week. There's a lot of uncertainty out there. And I'm not sure companies really know what to do at this point. And if they start raising prices a lot, uh, it's going to be a problem for the U.S. consumer.